In Gravity View, you can allow users to edit entries that they create. So to enable this feature, go to your views, then edit the view you want to change. Now I'll scroll right down until you see the settings box here. Click on the edit entry tab to bring up the edit entry settings. And now you can check this box that says allow user edit. That will let users edit entries that they create. And if you want to approve entries after they've been edited, you can check this box that says unapprove entries after edit. Okay, so the next step is to add a link to the edit entry page inside of your view. The edit entry page is where users can go to edit field values from the front end. So let's scroll up. To add a field to your view, just click this plus add field button here. That will bring up a list of available fields. Now scroll down until you see the link to edit entry field. Click on that to add it to your view. And now if you would like to change the link text, you can click on this gear icon here. That'll bring up the field settings. And we can change this, for example, to edit profile. So just click away and that will save. And now you've got a link to the edit entry page inside of your view. Okay, so the final step is to configure the edit entry layout. Now again, this is the page that users will be taken through to when they click the edit entry link. So let's scroll up to the top, click on the edit entry layout tab here. Now, as you can see, the configuration is blank at the moment. We haven't added any fields. Now, if you were to leave it like this, that would mean that all fields will be editable. However, let's, let's say we only wanted the users to be able to edit the name and email address fields. Well, we can do that by clicking the add field button and then selecting the name and the email address fields. So now our configuration only contains those two and those will be the fields that users will be allowed to edit from the front end. So let's update the view and let's check it out on the front end. So we've got our user profile here, and as you can see, there's a link to edit profile. So we can click on that. And that brings us through to the edit entry page, where now we can edit the name and the email address fields.